I'm going to share some slides to start with just to start the topic off of level setting, you know, what is the RELTIO Salesforce connector? What's it designed to do? Uh, and then we'll get into a demo of, of how that uh, works with your Salesforce system and, and how your uh, various sales and marketing teams might interact with, with the RELTIO data that's being provided to the connector. So let's start off by, you know, what's the business challenges that, uh, that we're really talking about in this context? And primarily, when we see the need to connect data that's being enriched and consolidated and um, built out in Reltio, we need to connect that with various line of business systems, such as your various Salesforce applications. And the challenge is that those different applications, such as sales or service cloud, or even different orgs within this different deployments of sales clouds, you end up with inconsistent and inaccurate data um, where your different uh, sales leaders or sales teams are working off of inconsistent data or even outdated data because the, the customer records or your contact records in each of those um, orgs, they're not linked, they're not really being synchronized. And so by uh, having that inconsistency, it's going to lead to impacting your sales and imp impacting marketing effectiveness which um, overall is gonna drive poor customer experiences, lost sales, all the other um, poor outcomes and, and things that we don't wanna see in our businesses. So the solution that we're driving for is to connect our enriched customer data that we're managing and enriching and consolidating in Reltio with all of our various line of business applications, specifically our marketing and sales apps like sales cloud service cloud any of the other salesforce apps that we want to use and the purpose of that is to boost the productivity the effectiveness of our sales and marketing teams um, which should drive to better customer experiences and increasing our sales and overall a more effective uh, operation That's what the customer, uh, the Reltio Salesforce connector is really designed to do. It's designed to facilitate the connection between Reltio, your source of highly trusted, highly complete, enriched data, enterprise data, with all of your Salesforce applications uh, in, a, in a real time or near real time fashion. So by having the Salesforce connector in place, um, you're getting access to a managed package on the App Exchange that's um, you know, fairly uh, straightforward and easy to download and install and configure, um, which is going to make all of your highly trusted enterprise data in Reltio uh, accessible to your marketing and sales teams that are operating within Salesforce um, and giving you all those business outcomes that we just discussed. It's gonna provide um, some, some key benefits that I'll show you in the demo. Um, primarily, it's gonna build that consistency across your Salesforce uh, instances. So everyone's operating off of the same consistent, clean, enriched data, whether they're in service cloud, whether they're in sales cloud, whether they're operating in different instances of sales cloud, and it's gonna automatically sync all of that data for you. Um, so whether the change is made in, uh, your, your Salesforce cloud or it's made in Reltio, everyone's gonna get that change automatically in near real time. Um, and what it's going to, uh, to do is enable your technology teams to leverage an out of the box connector. They don't have to go and develop something. They don't have to manage that development uh, and integration. It's a managed package um, that Reltio is servicing and making sure is up to date. Um, it's pre-configured, so you just have to download it, and that's what the, the session later this week is going to be discussing. And it's going to deliver that unified data into your clouds to boost that, that productivity and effectiveness and maximize that, that productivity of your marketing and sales teams. And so I'll, I'll finish up on this slide, um, you know, highlighting these four key points. Easy to install. Um, you know, we're going to have a session later this week walking you through the install and the configuration of this. Um, it's automatically synchronizing that data and it works on um, really any object within, within Salesforce accounts, contacts, or any of the custom objects that you might wanna manage. It does have a batch mode, which we're not gonna 
really focus on today, but if you wanted to set it up and move all of your data from Salesforce into Reltio or vice versa, does support that. Um, it's got a really key search before create capability, which I will be showing you to help reduce um, anyone creating duplicate records when they don't need to. They can just leverage data that already exists. And it will support some transform uh, transformations of data between the two platforms, which we'll also touch on in our later session. So I'm going to switch over to our demo now. And I'm going to start by going into my Salesforce sales cloud. And as a user of Salesforce, I may be a rep who's interested in uh, interacting with a new prospect. And so I want to start capturing information about that prospect. So what I'm going to do is first, I want to see if I can enter a record. I'm going to say new. And with the Salesforce connector installed, you're going to be directed to a search screen before you can create a record. And this is that whole search before create experience. So if I start by working with a prospect where personally I know this record exists, um, Caterpillar, I'm going to be told to search before I can just enter new data. And what this is going to do is search both my Salesforce instance and Reltio at the same time and see if anything comes back. Uh, in this case, it did not. That's probably because I spelled that wrong and I have not configured my fuzzy. But with my updated search, this is going to bring back the responses that you can see. So this is already showing me that there's data that may be the record I'm looking for. And it'll tell me where these records exist, whether it exists within Salesforce or whether it's coming from Reltio. This customer tenant label means that that's my Reltio tenant that has this data potentially sourced from other enterprise um, places, whether it's third party or uh, marketing applications, whatever that might be. And so by here, I don't have to create a new record. I can just preview one and say, yeah, this is actually the record I wanted to use. I'll just import that. However, if I'm working with a record that doesn't exist, like Prudential uh, Financial, this is a completely new record to my enterprise, and I search for this one, this is really going to bring back no results, in which case I do want to create a new record. And so when I do that, uh, I can enter any relevant information that I have about them at this point. I'll put in a phone number. Um, I'll put in maybe an address, and that may be all I know about them. Uh, they're at 750 Broad Street in Prudential uh, Plaza. Um, they're going to be in Newark, Jersey, in the US. And I can save this record. Now, the way the Salesforce connector works when we create or update data in Salesforce is it uh, it works essentially in a micro batch, and you can set how often it's going to kick off and read whatever changes have occurred in your Salesforce to send that information back to Reltio. Typically, it's every one, two, three minutes. Um, in order to skip that cycle of uh, just the batch mode, the micro batch, I'm going to use a mechanism to synchronize that data off of a trigger where I can just run the sync. And so now that record that I just created in Salesforce, that's Prudential Financial, has now been created in Reltio. So I can come to my Reltio tenant where all of my data is that's connected and I'll look for my Prudential record, which now exists, and I can navigate to its profile screen. And we can see in history that the Salesforce connector did just create it and that's been logged. And one of the things I'll point out is that the address and the phone that I provided in Salesforce has now been verified and standardized by Reltio cleansers. Um, and that's information that will be sent back uh, to Salesforce for our users to, to see immediately. So as it's cleansed, it's sent back and we're operating off of better data. So that's that real time uh, or near real time, I should say, uh, creation of data as it's being uh, entered in Salesforce. It's then immediately sent to Reltio. But it works bi-directional. So when we created this record, I'll quickly point out that Reltio creates the profile in Reltio with a Salesforce crosswalk or primary identifier um, using the Salesforce key that was created. 
So that establishes the bidirectional link so that any change that happens within Reltio will immediately be sent to the Salesforce record counterpart and vice versa. So if I'm a steward in Reltio, or if we have another source of information on credential that's enriching this record, anything that we do here will be sent back to our Salesforce record. So at the moment, we don't have a website uh, URL as part of this profile. Within Salesforce, we don't have a website. But if I'm a steward in Reltio, I might use my research tab to look out to the internet and say, yeah, I want to include this uh, particular web link as part of the profile. And I'll insert that web link from the internet and hit save. And as soon as I do that, that's then going to update my Salesforce uh, record as well, because this is a, a real-time bidirectional sync. So now when I come back here and refresh my Salesforce screen, my website has been sent to this uh, record. Let me refresh once more. And we have our website. So it's um, keeping them in sync in that near real-time fashion. You'll also see that the phone, and uh, if I come to details here, our address, they're getting that, as I said, that cleansed data back from Reltio. It's the formatted phone and the standardized and cleansed address. So we're always working on that really nice, clean, uh, consolidated data coming out of Reltio for our Salesforce record. So what we've seen so far is, is um, we searched for a record, we saw the ability to potentially import some that already existed, but for records that didn't have any existing data, we created one, it was synchronized into Reltio. We updated that record within Reltio and saw that update get synchronized back to Salesforce. Um, and that's really great, especially once the connector is already operational and maintaining that bidirectional sync and enforcing the search before create. But there's also scenarios, especially when you first set up the connection, where we may have duplicate uh, account records or contact records sitting in our Salesforce orgs or across multiple Salesforce orgs where we need to do some deduplication. So for the purposes of that, I'm going to create a duplicate uh, credential record and we'll see what happens and how that gets handled by the connector. So I'll come back here and I'll say new. And once again, I'm going to be brought to my search screen where I'll say credential financial. And I'll have to search. And in this case, of course, it's going to find the records that have already been created because we just did this. But um, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to ignore that and we're going to create a new record. Um, I'm going to enter in this information, right? Phone number, perhaps an address. And so this may be the scenario you have. In, in an IDL when we first set up the connector and you have deduplication to do, or this could be um, people thinking that it's different, but obviously you may have governance processes that prevent any of this happening once the connector is set up. Uh, but what's key here is that Reltio is gonna facilitate the deduplication of this data. Here's the, oops. So now we've created another record. And just like we saw before, the, um, the connector is gonna work to synchronize this data. I'm gonna force that sync over again for the time-saving purposes. And um, now if I grab this new record. Notice this is the one that does not have a website. It's a brand new Prudential Financial within Salesforce. In fact, if I come back to the account screen, we can actually see there's two here. Now, if I come to Reltio, and search on this one, we'll see there is, in fact, a new second credential record, does not have a website, but it was uh, immediately matched to the previous credential financial because Reltio matching works in real time. Now, in this case, we have a suspect match. Your rules may, using the information at hand, automatically have merged those records together. For the purposes of this demo, though, we're going to keep everything manual. We can see that two different rules have identified those records as a match, meaning we can consolidate the, the duplicated Salesforce records within Reltio. And if I choose to, when I merge them, you'll see those records, that event, that merge gets sent back to Salesforce. And within Salesforce, 
Um, we can choose to merge those records and consolidate, or you can choose to update both records um, at the same time. It's up to your own Salesforce policies. But in this demo, we're gonna actually merge and deduplicate uh, these two credential financial records into one. Um, so as soon as I do this merge, which I can choose to do here, that merge event is now gonna be sent via the connector as a single consolidated record with winning and losing IDs. When I refresh this screen, we now only have one credential financial record. And it's got all the information that we've got, including the website and the phone and all of that great information. So that really brings us uh, to the, the complete life cycle of what that connector is gonna do for us. A quick question, Michael, and this is more from my curiosity is, let's say one of those accounts, you know, you're going through that whole thing, does it also bring over the contacts from uh, that account? I assume it does. It does. So it manages uh, accounts, contacts, again, any custom object, as well as relationships. So if you were to relate a contact to this account, um, that would also be managed and synchronized in real time, just like any of these attributes that we were seeing. Okay. And is there, and I know this is, if it's not asked now, but uh, is, is there a, an additional charge price or, you know, for something like this? How does that work if somebody doesn't have the connector? There is. It's a, it's a, it's a licensed connector on the App Exchange. Um, okay. And so you can go there and license it and, and just download it from there. So it's on the apps. Too. Okay, cool. Yep. And again, it's a managed package. So um, it's something that Relti supports and is actively making sure is uh, completely up to date. And is there anything else that you wanted to show or? Um, not from a demo perspective, just one, uh, one last sort of summary slide if I can get to it, which is just uh, right here. And again, just the sort of business benefits here, wrap up the connector is designed to ensure that consistency across all of your Salesforce apps, um, automatically synchronizing your, your really clean, rich data from Reltio, um, like we were saying for accounts, contacts, relationships between them um, to empower those sales and marketing teams. Great. And uh, Michael, Thank you so much. Uh, I know this is kind of quicker than usual, um, but uh, this, this Michael really just wanted to kind of do a quick demo, show you kind of the value of, of this, how you do it, how it works. And then um, on Thursday, we will have a more in-depth uh, video or webinar to show you how to hook it up and you know, go a little bit more technical. So Michael, certainly thank you for that. Are there any questions for Michael before we let you go? Usually these are, go over an hour, but today it didn't. No questions. You know, it, it's a, a, a <laughs> usually we get like 10 or 15 questions. So, you know, Sharon says, this is outstanding content. Thank you. Um, again, this is just kind of a quick deep dive uh, or just a quick uh, overview of the, the connector. We hope to see you on Thursday and uh, we'll see you on the community. Michael, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. And thank you everyone for coming. Um, you guys have a, a great rest of the week and hope to see you Thursday. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. I'm going to stay on for a minute or two, just in case. Yep. I'll hang around. Maybe there's a late question. You never know. When you get a one-on-one -on -one session with you, you know, maybe there's some <laughs> interest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the uh what's it called the office hours <laughs> yeah exactly you know i was doing a little reading on uh virtual events and you know a lot of folks love kind of the meet the expert uh q a with the expert that kind of stuff and you know that's i was like okay you know we're doing some of the right things i think people are enjoying some of these things so it's exciting so yeah all right, well, everyone, thank you again for coming. Uh, Michael, thanks again. I'm gonna go ahead and stop. I will um, share this video out in the next day or two to, to the community. Thank you, everyone. All right, thanks, Chris. All right, bye-bye.